A Volusia County man accused of killing his neighbor now claims he had a legal right to do so. The shooting happened last year during a dispute over trees in Daly on Springs. Only West Shoes Spencer Tracy was at the hearing and talked with the victim's mother. All his sons are grieving because the sons really need their dad. For Brian Ford's five sons, this past Father's Day was extremely tough. They had to send balloons up to a message to their dad. Linda Ford says her son was trimming trees on their side of the property line in Delon Springs last year with his eight year old son. Deputies say his neighbor Edward Juzalowski shot him to death in a dispute over the trees. The little guy still thinks that he's going to appear back on that property. He has dead fear to go out into the yard. He's afraid to play ball. Druzelowski appeared in court Wednesday. His hearing was cut short. I don't want anything to be rushed. This is a very important hearing, and I want you to have that opportunity. Are you okay with that, sir? Yes. The judge felt both attorneys needed more time going over where the shooting took place. I don't know that that's if the inches of the property line with respect to this case really is a definitive legal issue. Um, I want you both to dot your I's and cross your T's, obviously, on that. Before the hearing, Drusilowski's attorney filed a stand your ground motion. That law states that a person has the right to meet force with force if they believe it's necessary to prevent death or great bodily harm. There is no basis for stand your ground. He was not threatened. Drozlowski previously asked for no bond in this case as he stated he had no prior criminal record, but the state attorney argued against that. The judge scheduled a hearing for next month. Ford's family says all they want is justice. I think that once there's closure, we'll be able to heal. In Volusia County, Spencer Tracy, West 2 News. The next hearing is scheduled for July 17th. There will be a separate hearing for the Stand Your Ground motion at a later date. Drusilowski remains in jail without bond.